Vamos reagir aqui a I ate at the America's most unique McDonald's. A Have you ever seen a McDonald's shaped like a UFO? What about a fancy one inside a gorgeous multi-million dollar mansion? Oh, não esquece fazer ideia que estas merdas aconteciam. Este aqui já comi aqui, olha. É uma pausa. Atenção, nós temos aqui no Porto, o homem foi para a América, não é? Mas temos aqui no Porto dois que são completamente incríveis. Seja o do Imperial, não é? Do café, que era o café antigo, agora é o McDonald's, que é dos McDonald's mais bonitos do mundo. Até há quem diga que é o mais bonito. E agora o da Ribeira, porque eles fizeram o McDonald's na Ribeira e por fora manteve aquela estéticazinha da casa da Ribeira, que também é muito fixe. E acho muito importante o McDonald's ter essa, essa preocupação quando constroem cenas em sítios históricos. Nem sequer deve ser uma preocupação que eles têm, deve ser meio uma coisa que é obrigatório, mas é muito fixe. Passaria as primeiras cenas para o Dinis, na minha opinião. Posto IGS. Isto é completamente incrível. Roswell, New Mexico, é conhecido como a capital capital do mundo, devido a um crash de UFO em 1947. E, de acordo com minhas fontes, o UFO McDonald's é só a few miles away do crash site. O que se há aliens real aliens inside the UFO? Oh, oh, Isso pode ser uma possibilidade. Não. Talvez eles estão no truck. I made my way over to the giant UFO. This thing looks even crazier up close. There's also a bunch of these little alien statues out front, which did not help at all. Nunca vi um McDonald's assim boida diferente. I don't think anyone's an alien. Anyways, the inside of this McDonald's was pretty awesome. There were cool alien decorations all over the place, and it turns out. Even though pais, mano, os americanos, se alguém sabe fazer isto são eles, caralho. Eles eram, ui, aconteceu aqui isto. Vamos lá aproveitar esta merda de Martin grátis, caralho. Dining area. Siga. The play places. I made my way over to the kiosk to order some food. One twenty-piece chicken McNugget meal, barbecue sauce. And an Oreo McFlurry. Well, this quite then I walked over to the McFlurry. UFO, and y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, it's so cool in here. So one of the things I really like about this place is it actually feels like you're in a UFO. I mean, look at where I'm sitting. It's like yeah, a metal... Yeah, by the zones metallic, yeah. Everything about this place is space-themed. You got Space Grimace, this Tem pink thing do, inside of the McFlurry rocket, and even mano. an astronaut Ronald McDonald. That one's a little creepy. Anyways, let's see if the food at the UFO McDonald's is out of this world. Oh man, my city well. That was a horrible pun. I I don't know why I said that. Looks pretty good. These chicken nuggets are hitting. Time for the McFlurry. Eu percebi o que o gajo disse, assim, do, ah, mas você é fora deste mundo. Oh. <laughs> Uma piada oh, de merda. Yeah, <laughs> really that's that's so yeah. I haven't had a McFlurry since I was like five. I just went to look around the building some more. Took a picture Sorry, with this cool alien statue, and me. even bought something from the gift shop. Awesome, thank you so much, appreciate it. What? I got a souvenir. Yeah, that means. Goodbye, UFO McDonald's. Parem a visão, tem gift shop. Já sabem que a malta vai lá e vai querer comprar. So I'm now in a new Hyde Park, New York, at the McMansion. Yo, this place is dubbed the world's fanciest McDonald's, and with good reason. I mean, look at it. This building is massive and gorgeous. This McDonald's is also known as the Denton House. It dates back to 1795 and was originally a farmhouse for a man named Joseph Denton. I couldn't find a picture of him. My bad. It was then converted into a mansion in the 1860s and finally became a McDonald's in 1991. The UFO McDonald's was like unique and wacky, but this is on like another level. You're telling me I have to go in there and order chicken McNuggets? What? Anyways, it is very cold in New York. Oh. Thanks. Was that for me? I don't know. It's cold. I'm gonna go inside. I'm very chilly. <sighs> Gotta cross the street. Gotta cross the street. Gotta cross the street. Gotta cross the street. Obviously, the outside is beautiful, but I don't even know what to expect inside. Oh, fancy door. Real fancy door. Whoa. <laughs> This place is cool. What the heck? Oh, no, okay, so right right the in, different to the other, but the ceiling is made of wood. The second floor. floor. The ceiling also had exposed wooden trusses, which I thought were very pretty. I understand why it's called the McMansion. It literally feels like I'm inside someone's house, a very rich person's house. That's also not the only fancy thing about it. There were fancy lights, in. fancy windows, fancy plants. Even the trash cans were fancy. It's a nice trash can. I was slightly intimidated by all of the fanciness here, but I have high expectations for the food now. Uh, can I get a 20-piece uh, chicken McNugget meal? 
Oh, o gajo vai pedir a mesma coisa em todos eles. Can I get an Oreo McFlurry? Uh, it's not working, machine, but we are, we are cleaning. Oh, the machine's broken. Are you serious right now, McDonald's? You have fancy trash cans, but a broken ice cream machine? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Anyways. Okay, so I placed my order and got my drink, but the thing is, I have no idea where to sit. So it was actually pretty empty in here. One of the most surprising things was that there were literally no kids inside the building. Like, at all. Just fancy looking old people. I made my way over to one of the many empty tables. I don't know how to explain this, but I feel very uncomfortable in this McDonald's. I feel like I have to whisper while I'm here. I don't know if that's just me though. It's kind of quiet. I'm gonna eat my food. Hopefully the chicken nuggets are good. Yeah, so I literally ate my food in silence while trying not to pay attention to the old people staring at me. So I'm just gonna go right out and say it. I am not having that much fun at this McDonald's. I'm gonna be honest, guys. This McDonald's, not that cool. But don't Pá, you worry. Caralho, the, mas tipo podre. the coolest Sorry. McDonald's ever continues. Goodbye, world's fanciest McDonald's. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Pretty to look at, but there's no that sound in the background. You can see in the McDonald's normal. So this next McDonald's is in Orlando, Florida. Yes, this is the one that I had. Going to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Na teoria seria o maior McDonald's yeah, do mundo, acho eu. This one's literally right next to Disney World, so it should be pretty cool. I'm very excited to check out this McDonald's. <laughs> also, my Uber driver Gerardo really hyped it up. Yeah, I mean, you have to. Yeah. They sell. Wow, okay. Oh, there it is. Whoa, that's a. That's it, that is a big one. This is crazy. All right, thank you, man. Appreciate it. You're welcome, man. Have a good one. All right, y'all. Behind me yeah, is the missed. world's largest entertainment Temos McDonald's. Aqui shots in front that, McDonald's that's what it's called. It's called. The world's largest. And I get it. It's, it's humongous. This giant McDonald's is the craziest one yet. Inside, there's a 22-foot-tall play area, an arcade with over 100 games, and it's the only McDonald's in the world that's so sells the pasta and the pizza. So there are three things I want to do what? while I'm at. What? Peraí, é o único no mundo, eu não fazia a mínima ideia. Não fazia a mínima ideia. Eu filmei a dizer que lá havia isso, mas não sabia, não sabia. Ui, tchau, não, não pode ser. Não sabia que era o único onde tinha este tipo de cenas. Eu disse que aqui havia pizza e havia massa, mas não sabia que era o único. The McPasta and the McPizza. So there are three things I want to do while I'm at this McDonald's. Se não teria experimentado essas duas coisas de certeza. Two, I got to win some arcade games and three I want to go down the slide. I actually don't know if I'm allowed to do that since I'm an adult, but I'm gonna do my best. Let's go inside. Maybe this is me getting like way too in over my head, but I'm very excited for this McDonald's. I have the biggest expectations. Holy cow, this place is massive. Oh. All right, y'all, this McDonald's is crazy. There's three different areas for different food. There's a cafe, the regular McDonald's ordering area and a pizza restaurant? Y'all, those are wood fired pizza ovens inside of McDonald's. You can see the, the fire. This place is nuts. I don't even know where to go. This place has an aquarium. There's legit fishes in here. What? What are these fishes doing in the McDonald's? He's kind of the color of the McDonald's logo. A little bit. Parecia right, tipo before né? I check out to the other UFO floors, I got to order. I got the usual chicken McNuggets and an Oreo McFlurry. And of course, I had to order the McPasta and the McPizza. I can't believe I'm spending $64 at McDonald's. This McDonald's is an elevator cara. to the second floor. This is crazy. Crazy. Okay, okay, I don't know what to expect. What do we got here? Another dining area. And whoa, oh my God. Okay, so the play area, massive. The arcade. Very cool. So I really want to check out the arcade, but first I'm gonna sit down and like eat. Y'all, this place is the exact opposite from the McMansion. Like straight up the exact opposite. The McMansion was dull, gray, and quiet. This McDonald's was very lively, very colorful, and definitely not quiet. Gente, como caralho, era bem. Thank you. Ao menos pode estar aos berros, o homem. Thank you so much. Well, that, that's a lot. Um, I may have ordered way too much food. Here we go. That's a chicken nugget. All right, pasta check. So I just want to point out, the pasta looks good. Like this has like some nice plating to it too. Is this really McDonald's? I ordered the fun tortellinis. It's colorful. 
Here we go. Deve ser bom. That's a lot better than I expected. <laughs> Mano, deve ser tipo uma cena de italiano. And say this actually might be better than Olive Garden. <laughs> oh, bro, acho que não, cara. The McPizza. Acho que ele tá At first the crust looks a little off. It seems like the McPizza might be a major disappointment. Time to complete the first task at this McDonald's. So I don't know if I'm just sick and tired of eating chicken nuggets for the past like 48 hours, but this pizza hits. I'm gonna box basically all of this up because I ordered way too much food. There is still one thing I have not tried yet. The Oreo McFlurry. Oh, my city well, that's good. I'm now full and ready for the arcade. Y'all, I want to play some games, so I need to go get a game card. Luckily for me, the game machine is right here. Merda depois isto é um... Isto é fodido. Vocês pagam. Spends $120 here. Oh my god. Update. I I spent $120. What? Mas nós não pagámos esta merda. A gente pagou para aí 20 paus ou 30 paus, mas foram de estouro. E depois tínhamos créditos para levar uma merda de um porta-chaves embora. Não era um porta-chaves, mas era uma cena assim minúscula. This is pretty cool. How do I scan this? Am I too old for this? Swipe card. I started off by playing ski ball for a few minutes. Um, I was pretty bad at it. Oh, I'm trash. Then I found this motorcycle racing game. Oh, there we go. I'm flying now. What's happening? I was actually pretty good at this one. No one would believe me if I did not get this on camera. <laughs> I got first place. Played a couple other games. Oh. Then I tried to win this cute burrito from a claw machine. No. I did not get the burrito. <clears throat> With the first two tasks complete, there's only one thing left. The infamous big yellow slide. There was a big yellow slide. I'm not gonna oh, lie. I really want to go down tipo... it. But I'm too old for com this. Pesadil. There is no way I can go down that slide. Ele vai descer, but I really want to. But I can't. Ele vai descer, cara. Anda lá. Update. We're going down the slide. Guys, this is Randy. No, the window no tinting guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going into the play area. Okay, so I totally didn't expect this to happen. I was about to leave until Randy saw me filming and asked if I wanted to go down the slide with him and his daughter. How you, how you holding up, Randy? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, right. man, but, like, imagine, this man is going to be a man. Pá, parece ser bué da levezinho, mas o outro gajo é tipo Moura, bro. Yeah. É fodido. Não sei se eu oh ia assim, mano. Hey, Randy. Hey, I'm going behind you. I'm scared. Oh, oh. This is... I'm scared. Oh, oh. We're going down the slide. <laughs> okay, I know that looked painful, but I swear it was fun. Literally the most fun I've had in a while. Man, Shout what? Randy. This guy's so cool. Cala, olha, aquela merda tá bem presa. Pós putos andarem lá. That was exhilarating. I made my way down the elevator towards the exit. That place was crazy. All right, I'm now in Chicago. And behind me is the McDonald's headquarters. Oh, a cute dog. I got distracted. So this McDonald's inside the headquarters hey, is the fast food franchise's only global menu restaurant. Here you can order unique food items found at McDonald's. Ai, a ganda cena, caralho. Ou seja, and neste Mac vende os menus de todo o mundo. Todo o mundo, ou pronto, quase todo o mundo. Aqueles menus que só há, na, sei lá, na China, na Tuga. Também há menus que só há na Tuga, não sei se existe. Por exemplo, a McBeefana havia antes, só havia na Tuga. E esse estilo de cenas, mano. Altamente. Vai, eu gosto de fazer mil paus em comida para provar tudo. All right, so before I order, initial thoughts. First up, it is very clean in here. Very modern. Bonito, yeah. Second, Bonito. everyone working here is dressed pretty fancy. There's literally people wearing suits in the kitchen. Suits at a McDonald's? What? I'm gonna go order now. I just wanted to point that out. All right, so obviously we have to do our usual. First things first. Oreo McFlurry. Oh, this one, one, one bit simple in the middle. What's there. on the international menu? Now, since McDonald's operates in over 118 countries, the global menu rotates every three months to highlight different locations. Okay. Oh my God, there's so much stuff. Ou seja, I'm não tem tudo, né? Mas vai ter sempre. This time, sempre. I was able to order from the McDonald's in England, Japan, and Korea. Transaction approved. Got my receipt. So I'm at my seat, table number seven. And y'all, this McDonald's is so nice. Por acaso, curtir assim, um Mac, nos outros Macs. Thank you, appreciate it. Caralho. At this hall. Oh my god. Vida para caralho. Ooh. This is going to be a good chicken nugget. I can already tell. Ooh. 
those gotta be the best nuggets I've had. <laughs> to be honest, this is probably my only chance to try McDonald's from a bunch of different countries at the same time. So I kind of want to rank all of the different items that I ordered. Let's see which country has the best food. Oh, dude, this is a monster. What? How am I supposed to eat this? That's a heavy burger. This is the like the fish. Caralho, de, 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 de. Honestly, it looks pretty good. É é not a fan of the lettuce. Ah? Burger, but e falta it looks camarão, like cara. Good. Sim, é que é. Deve ser bom. Pode dar diferente. Mm -hmm. Zona de sabor. Yo, I can't stop eating this one. This one's real good. Dude, look at the inside of this. That looks so good. O que é que é isto? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that is so good. So I've come to the conclusion, even though McDonald's started in America, every other country has a better menu than the American one. <laughs> now, out of all Só the McDonald's countries that try food from, the winner has to be Korea. Please bring this McFlurry to the States. Honestly, I was surprised. Salt this McDonald's is pretty cool, Mario, but now it's on to the next spot. Acho que right. qualquer lado, né? It's time for a very long road trip. All right, let's roll. So this next up casa, I'm going to should be very, very cool. I don't know how much fun I'm going to have at it because it's technically drive through only, but from the pictures, it looks very, very exciting. It's also the only one of its kind, so I don't even know what to expect out of this. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I see a McDonald's logo, and oh my god, there it is. Yo! I can't believe it! I'm here in person! That's crazy! Yo, what's going on with the first scene, man? The newest McDonald's building! Okay, I know what you're thinking. That spot's not a real McDonald's. Look, it's owned by McDonald's. Mas eu acho que o Edukoff foi uma cena destas e ficava lá perto de Orlando, caralho, não era em Chicago, era em Chicago. So Talvez esteja a confundir isso, caralho, não era em Chicago. Ele foi literalmente um personagem oficial de McDonald's nos anos 1980s, até que ele misteriosamente desapareceu. Talvez eu me perdi quando eu estava no UFO. Ok, então eu estou no drive-thru, é hora de colocar a minha ordem. Eu não sei o que eles têm no menu, eu não sei o que eles têm. Vocês? Tem tipo Starbucks, so não é? Ah não, mas tem outra... Tem Santos também, ok? I am so overwhelmed. Oh yeah. my god! So according to the Cosmics website, their menu is supposed to be otherworldly and it's designed to boost your mood into the stratosphere. I don't even know what that means, but I'm excited about it. They got boba, I love boba! I ordered a bunch of different things since there was a ton on the menu. Okay, anything else? And then, um, this is like a weird request, but can you just surprise me with like a really fun last item? Do you want it drink-wise or food-wise? Let's do a drink, like a fun drink. Okay, I'm gonna make this one hurt, then. You're gonna make it hurt? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make it hurt. You said surprise you. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Y'all, it's my Vida time. Picanto, I'm ready, pull up to the window, let's go! I'm so glad there's not a line. I heard there was gonna be like a four hour wait. Th is this one the fun drink? Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> no, don't be scared, I promise you'll like it. You promise? Yes, I promise. Okay, thank you so day, much. Okay? Thank you, you too, appreciate it. He laughed so loudly. <laughs> what? what? We'll All right, this. everyone. I am now parked, and I'm very excited. So first up, we have the S'mores a Cold Brew. Apparently, Cosmics was created to kind of compete with Starbucks, and I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I also got some Starbucks this morning. It's pretty mid. Look at that. Boom. Give it a little shaky shake. Já viram se eles começassem a abrir esta cena tipo no mundo inteiro? Se calhar é essa a ideia, né? Oh, that's pretty nice. I like that. Next up, these are the hash brown bites. My first initial critique, there's not that many in there, but it's fine. I ordered a lot of things, so. <laughs> Ooh! Now that's the weather ball. Donald Heaven, I'm in it. <laughs> that was good. That Os was Camilius. Next up, Rio McFlurry. Here we go. Oh my god. 
Honestly, Oreo McFlurries are the one thing from McDonald's that brings me right back to my childhood. I used to get these all the time. They get low key. Mmm. Now that I've tried all of the things that I personally ordered, there's only one more th item left. The fun drink. This is crazy looking. Cosmics, what did you what did you make? I don't even know what to expect I'm out of this. I think there's like little. popping boba at the bottom. There's a lemon. Um, and it's like this radioactive red <laughs> color. <laughs> I'm a little nervous for this one. Let's see how it goes. in your mouth though so that's fun <laughs> all right everyone now that i have officially been to all of america's most unique mcdonald's it's time to crown a winner so i'm back home now and after a thorough review of all of, the, the, of, the, and all of the mcdonald's i've decided the coolest mcdonald's in all of the land is the one with the big slide oh, oh! Ow, i gotta win I é o Lá Adorland. Mano, bom vídeo, bom vídeo, sim senhor também, caralho, bom vídeo.